Oh, okay, let's see what's on the home page. Uh, let's see how my videos are do- What? What? Uh, what? Um, okay, cool comment. Um... We need to talk about this. The individual this section covers is known online as Apoc, who played the character CB in Godzilla Bonds of Blood's animation. She is also Mechagodzilla's ex-girlfriend. Due to her proximity with Mechagodzilla, some of the worst of the behavior displayed from him was directed at her. This starts with Mechagodzilla talking to his other members behind Apoc's back, insinuating that she has a form of autism. As many times as I've visited her, I'm 90% sure she's autistic. She definitely has some form of it. It's mixed somewhere in that concoction of different mental disorder that she probably has. This was at a time when his Discord name was known as... What? Oh, okay, okay, this is already a red flag. You, you know when, you know something is up when your username is a play on Yoshikage fucking Kira. However, when looking deeper into his Discord activity, things get a bit more... bizarre. Mechagodzilla was known to create multiple Discord groups, oftentimes with no access to the communication, thus making group cooperation and cohesion nearly impossible. But the fact that Apoc was told not to interact with them, and kept in the dark about some of the chats entirely, well, it raises some suspicion. This culminates in the biggest manipulation tactic involving Apoc, where Mechagodzilla says in one of his secretive Discord channels, By the way, I need to reiterate something and put it as bluntly as possible. If Apoc ever found out about the especially the TGB porn. She would literally kill herself. And don't ask me why I let myself make that shit, because I don't really fucking know anymore. Yeah, it goes there. In order to hide the most revolting artwork, most of which are of un his underage characters, he threatened the suicide of Apoc if she were to ever find out. It would be terrible enough if this were the only case of abuse on the team, but unfortunately, there is more. This is going to be a shorter one. MZ was a musical producer on the project, but was eventually led to do other aspects of the project. At multiple points in the production, MZ was tasked to do all parts of production except for animation. This included music, voice acting, script writing, and so forth. This was all for the purpose of kicking another member from the team. At some point, MZ accidentally referred to Mechagodzilla by his real name, prompting Mechagodzilla to delete the message and leak MZ's full name. Mechagodzilla would later state that this was intended as a joke, but it does not appear to be so. This section consists of two individuals that both share the online name of Jade. To differentiate the two, we will refer to the first as Jade and the other as Jaden as they have requested. Jade was a writer tasked with world building, but similar to MZ, she was tasked to do many other parts. 
Eventually, she was tasked with so much work that she was essentially doing the work of a full-time job. Did I mention that she was barely paid to do this? Whenever Jade would try to do the work she was not immediately cut out for, she was angrily scolded for doing a bad job, yet was not provided any criticism, taking into account her massive burnout, troubles with parents, and very little pay. One can only think of the pressure Jade experienced. Jaden was another member of the project, although their role or extent of influence is unclear. However, what is known is that they did have a near-death experience. Again, the circumstances of this experience is unknown. Mechagodzilla would use this information to practically torment them through jokes and other manners. Also being cheated out of a commission, it seems that both Jade and Jaden had quite the rough experience. Oh god, not this part. While Mechagodzilla was working on the Godzilla Bonds of Bloods project, he was actively fetishizing his own characters he created for the episode. These drawings ranged from suggestive to downright pornographic. I will mention that the majority of his perverted artwork revolved around his underage characters, especially CB. In one of the images, is heavily blurred and censored on the Google document, which is in the description if you want a more in-depth explanation. Mechagodzilla drew CB and Tio in this manner. Let me count here. Uh, one, two, three, four... Forty-one times! Holy shit! What the- what- like, forty- forty-one times! What the fuck? This is made worse when you realize that these characters are voiced by actual people, and thus these works can be seen as a depiction of the voice actors, which is a really fucking disgusting thought. This last section is, uh, not really scripted. Uh, I have no- nothing to read here, so... What I want people to take away from this video is that, uh, although Mechagodzilla was not the most trustworthy person, people can change. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to trust him again. You know, it kind of broke, broke my heart a bit, um, when somebody I had, uh, kind of idolized, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say it as that, uh, I idolized him a bit, because, uh, he inspired me to do my works in animation. It was kind of sad to see that happen, to see everything, uh, see him do what he did, and, uh, he deserves a bit of shame. And his absence is, is justified. So, I hope nobody else makes the same mistakes. I hope uh, people can learn from this video, and this the, Google, the full document will be posted in the description. I did not make this document. That being said, I hope you, uh, well, not enjoyed this video, but uh, take something away from it. And if you learn something new, maybe uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, leave a like or something, you know, it helps me out, and, uh, well, that's pretty much it, have a good day.